Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and as a request, we're attempting stage 99 Proxima with Namor. We're going to be using Ghost Panther for his 30% fire damage leadership, plus his 50% fire damage passive, and his 45% damage out suit villains. We're going to use Shuri for her 45% damage out suit villains, and her 35% decreased damage received from super villains. And that's very important when you're using Namor, because those toxic meteorites, that poison, will freaking murder him uh he just doesn't have a lot of means of survivability you know he's got the short little life frame on the five and the short little life frame on the three when he's doing the two the one the four he's in that poison and guard doesn't prevent all he's got is an eight hit guard hit and that doesn't prevent from taking damage from poison you see the strikers we got we're using silver surfer and thanos for the 24 percent damage out the super villains that they offer we're using sue and weapon hex for the all defense down and we're using scarlet for that mind control Funny thing, guys, I tried this multiple times with Rachel instead of Scarlet, and I can consistently do more damage having Scarlet, Weapon Hex, and Sue Storm together. It's kind of weird. It usually doesn't work out that way, but for some goofy reason, it, I just seem to have more luck doing more damage with this Striker setup, so that's why we're using it. And I'm starting off with Stage 99, guys, from the beginning of the video because... On my account, having 55% physical attack and the build that I have on Neymar, and that's really what's affecting this the most, he just doesn't quite have it. Like, he's super strong. We all know he's a mega freaking monster, but he just, he's so inconsistent. You know, when you're doing your tier 3, I mean, Weapon X could come in and attack and do her all defense down while you're doing your tier 3, but there's a little gap in the middle of it, and if things aren't timed right, you're not going to get the all defense down capped when it needs to when Namor is attacking. He's just, I don't know guys. I mean, I played this probably for almost two hours. Two hours trying to do this. Over and over. And by the way, the run that I'm showing you right now is the best run that I had. And yeah, I mean, obviously he can do it. You know, I know he can do it. I've already seen a video uh, another YouTuber, Bar Knight, he pulled it off. He was doing Stage 99 with him. And, but, you know, it's just, and using the same strikers, by the way. But, you know, it's just not happening for me because I think it's just because I have low physical attack. Well, not low, but 55% just isn't high enough, you know. And I don't, ha my build just isn't fully optimized. And you guys will see that in a little bit. We'll take a look at the build. Now, we're going to stop this run at a minute 30. Because we're way behind. Right now we just finished the 11th bar. We should have done that at 3 minutes. We're almost a minute behind. Uh, the, it's just not going to happen, guys. I tried it over and over. And he just couldn't do it. And we'll do a run where he's more consistent. But we're not doing too bad as far as taking damage. But you can see the meteorite just slowly draining him. That poison's just slowly draining him. And in this high level, man, that stuff is deadly. It just murders you. I mean, this isn't bad. I mean, like I said, this, this is a good run. But it just, it just, I don't, I mean, it can happen. But I'd have to play this for hours probably to pull it off. And I'm not going to do that. And, you know, we're down to a little over eight and a half bars. And there's just no way that he would be able to clear this. You know, we need to be down to about... I mean, at this point, we need to be down to about six bars at least. You know, he just he isn't going to get it done, guys. By the way, in this particular run, I ended up dying, so that's why I'm just pausing it now. So let's take a look at the build. Okay, guys, so we're at the build. My Namor has 35,000 physical attack. He has 120 attack speed. He has max crit rate, which is amazing. He has 169 critical damage. And this is something that's going to hurt his damage because he's missing 31% critical damage, guys. That's a hell of a lot. He has max ignore defense and he has max skill cooldown. He does have almost 70% dodge, which is good. But if we had the extra 5% dodge, that would really help his damage. Uh... As far as his gears, all of his Urus, or well, his physical attack Urus are 6 star, and the rest of his Urus are 5 star. And, you know, I don't have all these slots amplified, and we could be getting extra critical damage if I had critical damage in these empty slots. We could be maybe getting some extra dodge. So it's not a 
complete build. It's a good build, but it's not complete. And that's not really helping his power level. Uh, you take a look at his skills. They're all at six. And he has a fully awakened Power of Angry Hawk set. But honestly, guys, I think he'd be better off with Overdrive. I don't think you really need uh, the attack speed for Namor because he's actually going to get attack speed from his fist skill here. Uh, it's going to give him seven seconds on a, on a 10 second cooldown. So it, so for three seconds out of every rotation that you're going to go through, he's not going to have attack speed, but that's fine, man. It's not, I mean, it's really not going to make much of a difference. And you're going to get that extra critical damage here, which he needs. And then we have the CTP of Rage, and this is at 0.9%, and we do have the 60% ignore boss damage decrease by 60%. So it is a pretty good uh, Rage. The crit rate is 23%, the dodge 3%, not too bad. And then you take a look at his uniform, and this is something that's hurting his damage as well, guys. He, do, I don't have all these extra stats. So you take a look at the uniform option. You know, we got the dodge from the first slot with Shuri. We got the max amount of physical attack from Wolverine. And we got all this extra HP from having Hawk because we already have max ignore defense. But this slot here is dodge we could be maxing out our dodge on our ctp of rage and then all those empty slots on the gears i could be putting critical damage urus and then on this slot here we could be putting critical damage or all attack but i probably end up putting critical damage so we could max out that critical damage honestly guys that would make a massive difference in damage plus the uniform is only at heroic so we still don't have this thing at Mythic. We could be gaining an extra 4% all attack, which would help, you know. So it's not an optimal build. It's a good build, but it's just not optimal. So guys, what we're going to do is we're going to do that run again, but we're going to do a stage that's much more consistent. So let's get into the action and let's rock and roll. Now here's a stage that we can consistently do over and over for the most part. You don't have to play it 20 million times trying to get it done, guys. And for me, it's stage 90, guys. Same team, same strikers, and we're going to pour it on. You know, and something about Namor that does kind of suck is, you know, the tornadoes, he can easily be snared. Because he doesn't have invincibility, because he doesn't have immunity on his skills, he can be snared. Yes, he has invincibility from his tier 3, and you don't have to worry during that. But in between, when you're, the tier 3's all cool down and you run through your skills, you're not going to have that. So every time you get snared, you can take damage, especially if you're lying in the poison because you can't move around. kind of sucks. And he just, I don't know, man. He, his, the way he does his skills is kind of like, you know, kind of hit and run, hit and run, hit and run, or hit and go. He doesn't, it's not constant, constant damage. Like, look at this. You know, the tier 3, the beginning, he does a tremendous amount of damage. The end, he does a tremendous amount of damage. But in the middle, he's not really doing anything. And it just, it, it makes him extremely inconsistent. There, we got snared. I mean, I love Namor, guys. He's freaking awesome. You know, he's got the decreased damage received in his passive. Uh, it makes, he's got a, a godly amount of HP. I mean, we got 70, almost 75,000 HP. But even having all that HP, man, he can take a massive, massive amount of damage from the toxic meteorites. And yeah, so you see right now we're doing really well. You know, you want to get down to the 11th bar at the 3 minute mark. And we're down to the 10th bar long before the 3 minute mark. So we're doing amazing. I mean, actually if I wanted to push it, we could definitely go a bit higher. But I wanted to show you guys where he's consistent. You know, where he's going to do the stage over and over and over the first time that you would play it, at least on my account, or the first time that I would play it. And I think that's a better reflection. You know, if you guys want my honest opinion, Captain America, to me, is way better, way better for this than Namor. That's just my opinion, guys. He's got invincibility, immunity. He's got iframes. He's easy as hell to play. Uh, yeah, man, I just, you know, he's just... I think he's just better. Uh, you know, something to think about is even my Captain America only has 5-star physical attack Urus, whereas my Namor has 6-star. You know, my Cap does have a Mythic uniform, and he does have those extra tests, so that makes a difference. And, and that's kind of what hurts Namor. Like I said, the build just isn't... It isn't complete. I really need to 
you know, buy one of those X gene bio selectors and queue it up. But, you know, I haven't. You know, I saw that we were getting the, I was getting a request quite a bit to do this. And I thought, man, it's going to be tough on my account. It's just, you know, I don't have a lot of physical attack. You know, 55% is good, but it's nothing great. You know, it's not like, you know, having 83% energy attack. And you guys, look, look at his damage just go by, or not his damage, but his health. When he's in the toxic, the poison, that damage just goes, or the damage, the health just goes bye-bye. I mean, you know, even at stage 90, we're down to 30,000 HP when we started off with almost 75,000. You know, we got Proxima under mind control the whole freaking time. Uh, you know, so she's really not doing any damage to us. It's the toxic meteorites. And when you're up in stage 99, even more damage is going to get done to you by that crap. And that's really what made it hard to keep them alive. I mean, you could bring in anti-venom, but anti-venom strikes when you're attacking. And Scarlet, Sue, and Weapon X strike when you're attacking. If you bring in a fourth character that strikes when you're attacking... One of those characters will not be coming in as often as they should be because only three characters will come in, three strikers will come in at any given point. And it could be any three. So you want the, the ones that are striking when attacking to come in, which are Scarlet, Sue, and Weapon Hex. You don't want any others coming in. And by the way, I did try that with anti Venom and all, and yeah, I could keep them alive, but then my all the even sound was way more inconsistent because of what I just mentioned. So yeah. I mean, you can see, guys, I mean, look, we're down to 15,000 HP now. And boom. So we had 35 seconds to spare. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. This, for me, is a consistent clear. He's not going to be clearing stage 99. Like, it's something I would have to spend hours to pull off uh, on my account. And, yeah, it's just not worth it. So, guys... Let me know what you think about old Namor, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.